All right, well, welcome everyone. A um, lot of uh, new people, and we're very excited to have a, another webinar. This is the July version. And if you want the, the replay of these webinars, along with a full word for word transcript and you know, um, screenshots and everything, it's, it's pretty slick, then you wanna join our replay club. It's only 10 bucks a month, and you, you get access to the, to the replay. Because the live version is free, the replay we, we charge a little bit because of the, the bandwidth, etc. So it's under here, Products, Q&A, Webinar Club. First question. This is AAPC and AHIMA certifications. We've had this one before, um, actually, and we got this question, I think, two or three times this week alone. So I thought maybe we better revisit it again. So here's one of the sample questions. Hi, I have an associate degree for coding and billing, but haven't worked for the past two years, and I'm looking to get certified. My question is this, what is the best certification to get? Which one is preferred by companies, the CPC or the CCA? So um, let me take you to the answer. And basically what I jotted down here is hospitals tend to prefer the AHIMA credentials, the CCS, the RHIT. And if you don't know what those are, you can go to ahima.org, I think it is. But mainly I find physicians offices, they just wanna know that you're certified. Okay, so are you certified? Yes or not yet? Okay, we're gonna go with 89% uh, voted and we're gonna close the chat. Oh, sorry, the questions, and the answer was 20% yes and 80% no. Great. Okay. Very good. Well, thank you for doing that. So that gives us an idea of, um, you know, the folks on, on the call and what their, their goals are. So great. Thank you. And notice I said not yet, not no, that you're not certified. So My fault. Medical terminology on the CPC exam. Now this was one Alicia was gonna answer, so I will try and do my best here. Um, what type of medical terminology will be on the test? So basically you can be asked any medical terminology question possible. So it's advisable to take a medical terminology course, especially you know with ICD-10 coming up, which is gonna require you to have a lot more anatomy understanding than ICD-9. And if you need a course, we just happen to have one on medical terminology, anatomy for ICD-10 coding. So um, we chose that book because it's the only one that, that I found that was medical terminology and anatomy and it's for coders. So um, it's currently selling for $48.72 if you want to do uh, self-study or if you want to do it with uh, the instructor coaching and, and all of that, then um, Take the course from us and you'll get a certificate of completion and all that good stuff. This is another book Alicia was recommending and I recommend too that's that's heavy in terminology. What are CCI edits? I hear you mention CCI edits quite a bit. Can you give me a brief overview explanation on what CCI edits are and how I can access them? So I have a nice answer for you for that one. I didn't realize I talked about CCI edits that much, but it is good to know. Um, you do not, just so everyone knows and doesn't panic, you are not tested on the the, the two board exams about CC, CCI edits. It's just something that's good to know to be a well-rounded coder. So, first of all, it stands for National Correct Coding. Next question is skull based surgery codes and modifier 51. Um, Laura asked, how do you accurately code surgery of the skull base? Are the definitive codes considered to be a lesser code and is modifier 51 needed? Excellent question. This is a great question. So let's go to my answer page. And what I did is I did um, kind of a scan of the code so I could um, bring it with me to the hotel since I don't have my document camera. And this is basically page 312 and these are the guidelines. So the first thing we're going to answer is about the, the, the modifier 51 if we need it or not. 
Also, um, we have hot, hot, hot off the press is our new giveaway, um, which is the modifier decision grid tool. It's actually a part of this modifiers. It's all about the money presentation. I taught this, oh my goodness, in 2000, I think, at the AAPC conference and taught it for three or four years after that. This little two-page um, tool was was very, very popular and people were like, oh, I love this. I'm going to laminate it. I'm going to stick it up on my desk. So um, definitely uh, check that out. Just go to coding, codingcertification.org and you'll see this graphic on the right on the sidebar. Just click it and you can um, get it for free. Download it. It's a two-page PDF. Okay, so LT and RT modifiers. Are there any rules of thumbs regarding when to use the modifiers for LT and RT? For example, according to the answer key for the workbook, 69320 LT is used for the moringoplasty of the left ear, and 699661 without LT is used for the left stapedectomy. Um, I, this seems arbitrary to me, and I, yeah, it, it is because it's a textbook and they're not always consistent. You have to remember with textbooks and workbooks, you might have Susie writing one question and Mary writing another, and they might not actually be. Um... Okay, this is the slide to announce our new medical terminology and anatomy course for, for medical coders. July 23rd for 497. It's a 15 module course. You can go at your own pace. There's recorded lectures, just as it's me teaching, just like this. You see me as a talking head in the slides. Um, you get a textbook, the one that I highlighted before, Medical Coding and Terminology for ICD-10. And you do get a certificate of completion when you're done. And if you want to go to the URL to check out all the details, it's codingcertification.org slash MTA for Medical Terminology and Anatomy. The Find a Code discount. I told you about if you go to find a code and you decide to subscribe to their monthly encoder thing in the promo code box put cco and you'll get sixty dollars off a year okay so the promo code is cco the ceu webinars i showed you that earlier about the modifiers we also have one for e m locate your hem in time that one's worth three ceus um, very good stuff. I have, have a very unique way of teaching um, e &M, and we get a lot of uh, positive reviews about that. And of course, what started it all, the Coding Certification Review Blitz series, um, 240 for both online and DVDs. But what we, what we did to make it more affordable for people, that, that was just a little bit of a stretch, is if you um, can get away with just online only, it's 179 um, or DVD only, it's 179. Both packages get um, an hour session with me, which I recommend you you use to go over your practice exam answers that you got wrong and things like that. You can schedule them in two half hour slots. The 80 hour course, this is um, basically a complete comprehensive coding course. We um, we have a little comparison matrix here to what the AAPC offers. Uh, obviously, price is the big difference here. Ours is $9.97. The course length, we put four months, but actually we, we allow up to six, and it can be, we even let people go up to a year. It's We're not that strict, but we want to say six months so that you're, you're focused and motivated to hit that goal. The textbook and workbook is included. You get the, the mock board exam, 150 questions. You get the, oh, the course like course ac access, six months. The exam review DVDs, the Blitz videos, we bundle that in, that's $240 value. The exam review online, CEU webinars, you get two, you get those two, the ENM and modifier one. So as soon as you get certified, you already got, you know, 4.5 CEUs ready to go. And of course your personal coach. She, she does Skype, email, telephone. Um, Alicia's wonderful. This is very near and dear to my heart. If you appreciate the work that we've been doing to get this information to you guys at no charge, um, help us out and like us. <laughs> if you go to Facebook, you know, just click the like button and that, that helps people to find us. So um, it is truly 
word of mouth advertising and social media is so important nowadays. So if you can help us out and do that on Facebook, uh, YouTube, subscribe to our channel, Twitter, follow me on Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, all that good stuff. Any Anything like that, um, we would appreciate. Oh, and we do have a testimonials page on the website. So if you are a formal student, or even if you just appreciate these webinars, go give us a testimonial. We all love to know what other people think. Amazon.com comments, if that's how I do most of my shopping. So that's at codingcertification.org slash testimonial, where you'll see the link on top.